Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Durham, Ontario, Canada, at a police station where a fraudster sees a sign that says do not record, but he keeps up keeps it up anyway and ends up getting arrested and trespassed. However, the fraudster is not exactly happy about it because he says it's a violation of the Charter of Rights to be, which is really the Canadian Freedom of Expression Clause, which is equivalent to the American First Amendment, but still doesn't cover the rationale behind filming a police station to begin with. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But yet I can't, could be I, employees or... or no, they weren't or, employees. Uh, well, they were I'm just two sure people I, coming out of the police station. Like, I may have way. missed them personally, but I just, I saw you as I was... So wait, you stop crew. anybody that walks through here? Yeah. Everybody that walks back through here who, who's not authorized to be here gets... So maybe you should change that sign to uh, maybe authorized personnel only? I think it's a good idea. I'll bring it up. Yeah, the, maybe. The inspector of the station. Yeah. yeah. I personally, I, I don't know if you agree, but I think we should have gates all back here. Well, maybe here, yeah, they got for your vehicles or stuff, but, well, like, what is back here? Like, I see a stop sign here for traffic. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. the buildings here are, these two police buildings, and that's, uh, in the mass building, and just so we protect, obviously, the public services and yeah. employees and... So, it's all public buildings back there? So, it's... Like, the yeah. EMS is public, EMS everything's property, public, yeah. but everything's off limits to the public. You know, I don't know about this guy, but uh, common sense would dictate that uh, there would be restricted areas, such as around fire departments, police departments, and all that. But then again, I kind of grew up around police departments and fire departments, and I know what they look like on the inside. It's not really that much going on besides a lot of people working. But then again, I guess somebody like this uh, thinks that it's a bastion of uh, evil that has to be penetrated and destroyed. So I guess that's why he's doing this. What's that? Do you have a vehicle here? No. You're good to film from here. Like, it's more, I would recommend obviously by the sidewalk just to be safe. Yeah, I know. Right? You guys always recommend by the sidewalk. But that's well, I don't want you to get hit, right? You know. I'm actually going to go inside and grab a employee request. Oh yeah, go for it. FOI form and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, might be an online procedure now. That's up there. Yeah, a truck coming in. Watch by. Uh, it might be all online now. You're free to visit the station head in and uh, see if they have a form, but I think it's all. Oh uh, no, they have. Them, yeah. Do they? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you would have to have them here because <laughs> say someone doesn't have internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and the person at the front, they can help you out too yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Just keep in mind, they've got the notice of the sign too as well for cameras and stuff inside the building, obviously, right? What if it said uh, no cameras? Yeah. yeah. It's just there. You'll see the sign right when you walk by there, okay? Yeah, what's it say? So just, just right up there. You can, you can see it from here, right here. Just it says notice. Clear, you're not allowed back here now, right? What's that? Just to be clear, now you have an understanding. Yes, I, I had a verbal warning. I had a verbal warning. I understand. Okay, great. You understand all that. But why did you go in there afterward and end up getting arrested. So let's go ahead and skip to that part and see what his excuses are. Five minutes later. I have the right to speak to you, but you're, you're not listening to the explanation. You're refusing to believe it, is actually. And that's, and that's what, if you want to, if you want okay, to, go refuse, ahead, go ahead, tell if me. If you want to refuse watch. to believe it, that's fine, that's on you. You're still getting a ticket. Okay. okay. I, you know, I'll accept the trust funds. I will. And okay. we'll take it to court. We'll go through that. Perfect. There's no talking that's to you guys, so that's, I, that's I will, I'll option. do, I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So I'm not here to cause trouble, no ill will, no nothing. I exercise my rights. If you see my I'm channel, gonna, you'll see, you'll see, my, uh, and you'll see that I got other stations up on right. litigation too. And this one's a, this public, one's an easy one. Yeah. When I hear a fraudster say that they're going to file a lawsuit, well, I just gotta laugh at that because we all know that. 99.99% of the time they don't do it because, well, it's just too damn expensive to do so. Which I guess helps with the uh, thrivelous lawsuits because, well, there are just too many thrivelous lawsuits right now as it is. 
I mean, just stupid stuff coming down the pipeline all the damn time. We don't need any more of that. So, yeah, I really believe it when you say that you're going to file a lawsuit. So good luck with your uh, imaginary lawsuit, and let's see how far it gets. Sorry, guys. So before I release you from my custody, I'm going to explain to you your uh, form of release. This is a summons to defendant, also known as a part three. This is essentially a court date for the 1st of November where you're going to answer to the charges of engaging in prohibited activity on premises. Yeah, that doesn't really work with frauditors giving them a ticket. I mean, that doesn't even work here in the United States with our frauditors, which is why in the United States there are laws being proposed. So laws that are potentially going to change if they get passed the way frauditors are treated, which I'm sure Canada is going to take a look at what we're doing and uh, eventually follow suit. After I instructed you, the sign. I thought you told, told me you, you charged me with trespassing. That's under the trespasser property. Okay, act, perfect. Sir. All perfect, right. Perfect. I thought you said you were aware of the law. Yeah, yeah. I am. Maybe I am. You should go do some. Uh, and what's prohibited? What? What? What's? Uh, what? What are the prohibited anything, things? Anything that the property holder, being the Durham Regional Police, deems to be a prohibited act. Oh, anything you deem, eh? Such as the anything signs there. Deem. Anything you deem. Anything. Yeah, that sign right there. It's got back and no right. guns, no, no nothing. Okay. When you feel this cuff loosen up, put your hand behind your back, please. Okay? Yep. That's for your safety and mine. Thank you, sir. Likewise. Trust me, I ain't, I ain't hear that. I, I, I'm i never here to hurt a uh, cop anyway, so. And we appreciate that. Or this do your, any harm. Release here, okay? Yep. My badge number is on the bottom left-hand side of there. So this is under the trespass snack, this eh? This is under the trespass Oh, did side. you give me a warning in there to get out? Well, of course he gave you a bloody warning, you dumbass, but you chose to ignore it. So now you are you got trespassed, and uh, according to what you said in the description box of the video, you ended up getting convicted of this. So whose damn fault is it? Do you not remember the conversation we had here? And, and this, is not for, this is not for kicking you Oh, yeah, you out. you're right. It doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't matter. All right. You're right. You're keeping my stuff. Yeah, your phone is going to be seized as uh oh, come on, that's his work phone. That's being seized as... It doesn't uh, matter. That's uh, my work phone. Then yeah. uh, it's just more money in litigation. Like I mentioned to you, that's evidence to the offense now. So, it's so what offense? You got cameras in there. Yeah, that's evidence to the offense that you committed. You have cameras in there seeing me with yeah, my camera. So why would yeah. you need my phone? Because we asked you we not take all evidence, sir. to why? videotape Give me your that. phone back up before tape. Yeah, I know I will, but what's the sense though? Like, you have footage right, right. here. You take all the evidence. Oh, you do, eh? No, just... Okay. All right. Oh, so you're using your work phone to do some frauditing. Let me ask you something, you blockhead. Why didn't you get a burner phone? Something that you wouldn't miss. I mean, it's going to be hell explaining to your boss why the police uh, confiscated it for evidence, you Dumbass. Well, let's go grab my other camera. Is there a sign anywhere saying it's prohibited to film inside? There is. Yeah, there's signs on the... He actually uh, filmed one of those signs. Yeah, on the, on the door there. Yeah. Yeah. You remember filming that sign, yes, right? Yes, I did. I did Perfect. record it. Perfect. Thank you very but much. But I had to go back into it. All right. I am the backing to it. I told you that inside as well. No, you'll see. All right. Now, I'm, now, I'm, asking, now I'm asking you 
I promise you. Let it let it be told. Now I am asking you to leave my police station. Failure to do so will result in you getting arrested again. I'm leaving right now. Thank you very much. Unless unless you need police, unless you need police for an emergency or for any other police matter, you're free to go. Yeah, so I go in and get a FOIA request. You, it's all it's available online man you are really a genius aren't you they couldn't made it any more clear that you were to leave the place you were not to enter the uh, police station under threat of arrest and you want to do a FOIA request man oh man where did your brain go seriously though where did your brain go because uh there has to be a lost and found somewhere for your brain to be uh, hiding in yeah, but I, I don't have online. Okay, well, we don't have papers in there for you right now. You don't, oh, you don't? No. Yeah, who says that? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Did she get a card? Sorry, I am. I didn't just need the card from Focus. My badge oh, number is on there. But his. Yeah, my name, my name, last name is Lane. Badge Lane. 3885. 885? Yep. Lane 8885. Lane. Right? All right. Well, that's the end of the video, folks, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and apologize to Canada on the behalf of the United States. Yeah, uh, we're sorry that we uh, sent this plague of frauditors over your borders, and now this has to happen to your citizens. I mean, uh, I know you guys have some people over there that aren't exactly the sharpest and are knives in the drawers and end up uh, falling for this BS. Well, uh, that's everywhere, pretty much. There's kind of, Every country has those idiots in them. And unfortunately, they are, our frauditors have corrupted them. So apologies on the behalf of the United States. At any rate, guys... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you on the next video.